Hello again, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener. Time for another This Week in Landscape Construction. I take a tour of six jobs that I designed and how the construction progress is going. All right, number one, paver patio. This is a very large paver patio. It's about 1,100 square feet. So the first part is, of course, bring in all that crushed road base, the paver sand, and all that stuff as it goes in. So now all the sand is in and we're laying down the pavers. Now, the nice thing about pavers is once you lay the field, which is the bulk of it, not the perimeter, but the middle part, it goes pretty quickly. You kind of establish your pattern and just start working away. And the key thing, of course, is always make sure that leveling sand is perfectly level before you start putting the pavers in. Once you do that, then it's pretty straightforward. But as you've seen in my other paper videos, you lay the field, then you lay the border, and then you do all the sand work in between. So they laid the field, and now they're working on the border. And so because it's a very curvy patio, and I'll be honest, I, as a designer, I love doing all kinds of fun curves with pavers. These guys hate it because they have to make all these little cuts. So what they do is they lay the border out first, judge which one is to cut, and then they're going to concrete all that in. But here's the rest of the field, and they did a great job on that. They've been working on that for a while. Number two, we have an outdoor chimney and the outdoor kitchen. So the kitchen's all done. They polished the concrete top, did a beautiful job on this. This is a nice poured in place concrete top and they did a great job getting a nice polish, a little top cast finish. It's got just some extra great texture. And this week they're going to start installing all of the cabinets, the grill, the drawers, all that kind of fun stuff. Meanwhile, the other two guys are working on the facade on the chimney. Now this facade was picked because it matches the facade on the inside of the kitchen. So it kind of gives a nice seamless flow from the outside to the inside. And here you see the guys wiring it all up to get it all going. Number three, a big, big driveway. So this is an old house that was being remodeled out in East County. And they're doing a really big driveway for a couple reasons. First of all, uh, the owner and his friends own a lot of various trucks and RVs. And they needed a big driveway because there was no parking available on the street. It's just a funky little old development. And so they decided to do a really big driveway with a really big planter bed as well. So this project, uh, they had to actually pour it over the course of two days. It was just too big to pour in a single day. Uh, it took 12 trucks of concrete, six on day one and six on day two. And it's also a colored concrete. This one is called Palomino which is a wonderful color as it dries. It's going to give you a nice tan look. Uh, they're also doing a top cast finish. So here you go. You see the concrete truck backing in. And even though it's a front driveway, it's still such a long way that has to be pumped all the way to the top of the hill. And it was a pretty large crew. The crew of about 16 guys that were working. Some were pumping, some were screeding, which is what you see with those guys working the board to level it fairly flat and they do that with the screed board first and then they'll float it to get it really flat and then these guys will actually get on their knees and do that careful finishing on the top of that and another crew starting to spray that gray stuff which is the actual top cast finish so here they did the top half of the driveway one day and then two days later <laughs> let's do it all again bring the truck in back it in and pour the bottom half and again pour pump screed float uh, also do the expansion joints uh, which is also really important to keep doing as well so again a large crew of about 16 working away and then here it is uh, at the end of the day they're spraying the top cast finish on this will slowly eat away the top finish of the concrete and give it some grit which is really really important when you have a driveway this big on a slope you want to make sure it doesn't get slippery so here's a close-up of the gritty finish as you can tell it has a nice grip to it so this is what top cast finish Palomino looks like. It has that nice color and texture to make it nice and safe. Okay, number four. So back to another front yard. This is a paver walkway 
and a succulent garden in front. And so they've already laid the pavers out in front and the field and now they're working on the soldier course the border for it so again because it's a curve because i just can't draw a straight line at a right angle to save my life i curve everything um he has to carefully lay all the border in first check it and then decide which ones to cut to get that nice curve here we did a nice little stoop by the front door uh, so they can kind of sit and watch the neighbors. And then uh, now we're working on the rest of it. So there's the finished walkway. And now it's time to do a little dry stream bed and then do some succulents. Now this soil is terrible. So it's going to require a little bit more than just a succulent mix uh, potting soil. I also like to throw that grow mulch in because that helps loosen up the soil as well. And finally, we want to make sure to do that weed block as well. Also, part of this project, we redid the driveway. Now, this is another driveway, also Palomino, also top cast finish, a nice diamond pattern. The client, as part of the project, also had the garage door redone. So it's a really big renovation that we did here. And so the other nice thing about this is this is a decomposed granite mulch that we did. The bark part you see is actually going to be diamondia. You can see little baby diamondia is planted there. So it's got some interesting textures and colors. The succulents will get beautiful over the next couple of years. Okay, number five, backyard time. Kind of a simple little concrete patio. Now here, because the soil is a little softer, we actually did do uh, a crushed road base underneath it before pouring the concrete. Concrete was all poured and they're doing all the floating at this point. And again, nice little curve. And, and when you're doing concrete, it's pretty easy to do it in curve. So I, of course, curved the patio. And I even put a little curve on the steps too. Like I said, I just hate drawing straight lines. So here the guys are doing the wonderful final finishing of the patio where they're doing both the expansion joints, which are really important when you're doing a concrete patio. You want to have those joints where the concrete's going to expand and contract and it'll crack along the joints instead of cracking in the middle of the patio. Uh, also note that we have a little drain in the middle to keep all the water flowing right to it. So the guys are doing a great job finishing that concrete. Lastly, number six. So this is the one where we did the concrete driveway last week and now we're finishing the front yard. And this is a nice drought tolerant garden with a dry stream bed. This was actually one of the projects I've done all over San Diego County where they do a lawn removal rebate. They pay the homeowner to get rid of front yard lawn and replace it with a dry stream bed and drought tolerant plants. Now, because I used enough plants, and then we get to throw in a few palm trees as well. But it still met the requirements. And then clients got a nice little rebate check from the city once this is all done. The other nice thing about it is, of course, I curved it. I did a lovely curving walkway to give it some fun curb appeal up to the front of this house. And then we lit that baby up. So these are some really cool path lights we added to add a nice pizzazz to the house and a little bit of front lights on the actual house itself. Well, that's all the time we have for today. This is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying, hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get more of my garden videos. Until next time, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying thanks for watching.